Hello, friend. Excuse me. Would you buy this toy house for me? I need to buy some medicines for my daughter. Listen, friend. Could you please buy this toy house for me? I need money for my daughter's medicines. Mm, I don't know. How much is it? Mm, I'm asking a hundred for it. I mean, it's from it's my daughter's, right? But okay. Um, well, how are are you telling me that you're selling your daughter's house? No, 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 no. What I mean is that I bought it for her as a gift, but I recently lost my job and I don't have any money and I need to get some medicines for her. Is she her. sick? Yeah, she's quite sick. And how much do you need? I think a hundred would do. You know, that would be enough. Do you need only one medicine or are there more? Only one. Only one. Okay, look, let's do this, okay? There's a pharmacy right around the corner. How about we go get your medicine? Really? I can buy it for you and then you won't have to sell the house. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. Listen. First of all, thank you for buying these medicines for me. You have no idea how much it's helping. Yeah, totally. My daughter, most of all. Don't worry about it. I know what it's like to be in that position. Well, I have a daughter too, you know. Really? And yeah, I would do anything for her. Even this. Um, I don't get it. What do you mean? I mean, what I do for a living. This. Um, what do you do? If <laughs> you don't mind telling me. Well, you saw me on the streets. What do you think I do? I think you know. And yes, I would do anything for her. I mean, this wasn't my first option, but I didn't really have any others. Why? What do you mean? I, I don't understand. I hope you don't mind me asking. I don't want to no, make you uncomfortable. No, don't worry about it. It's just that... Uh, it's a very long story. Well, if you don't... If you don't mind, I, I can listen. You know? Sometimes we need to express ourselves, right? Well... I come from a very far, far away town, and I used to work there. All right. And some people came over and they offered me a really good job as a model. Amazing. But when I got here, it turned out to be a scam. It turned out to be this. I'm really sorry about that. I'm sorry for asking. And your daughter? Um, she's been taken care of, you know, my, my co-worker helped me out. Do you live together? We all live together. I see. Some of them have children too, so we all help each other out and we take care of the children. In the streets as well? Yes. Yes, when she's still small, she's eight years old and she's, I adore her. Isn't it dangerous for her to be around there? Yeah, it is, but... I honestly don't like her growing up here, but I really don't have an option. I don't have choice here. And I'm so, I'm so scared. I, I don't know how to get out of from here. I don't know how to leave this behind me. I want to tell you something. I'm really not who you think I am. <laughs> don't be afraid, but please listen to me. What do you mean you're not who I think you are? I'll tell you about it in a second. Okay, don't be afraid, just listen to me and then you can tell me what you think about it afterwards. Okay, please trust me. Look, the truth is that I was looking for someone to buy this from me, okay? And I was looking for someone who was very helpful, very kind, and that's you. You helped me, okay? I, I actually have a job, okay? Don't be afraid, I, I do have a job and that job is finding this kind person and rewarding that kindness, okay? And that's what I do. I've met a lot of people in what I do, but I have never seen such a case like yours because this is a very extreme situation. Do you remember when you told me that you wanted to make it out of this? I want to tell you. Are you a believer? Do you have faith? Yes. There are opportunities in life that are difficult to take. And you just have to go for them. And I got a proposal for you. 
I own um, a construction business and I was wondering if you'd be interested to if we hired you in a position in the company I would like for you to be able to make your own income and this is the least I can do mm -hmm. you to provide you a different I'm not so scared like means it, it of, for your survival and, would you like and, that but if you would do that yeah, I just could live here and I could I'm really sure that you're gonna make an amazing job uh, different to what you already do I want you to be safe don't worry about where you're gonna be living uh, we'll figure it out but please Cheer up. Come on. Uh, try it. Give it a go. Uh, I'll be supporting you. I'm with you. I'll keep you safe. Safer than you've ever been. What if they find me? They won't. I promise. Please trust me. Come with me. I'll take you to your new workplace. The best place for you. Okay, yeah. Let's go get my daughter first, okay? Yes, of course. Let's go find her. Here, 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 here. Listen. Don't be afraid. We're gonna we're gonna play hide and seek, okay? Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay, don't tell anything. Take it easy, take it easy. We're we're fine. Okay. Move forward. This is your new office. We still got some stuff to to bring, but uh, this is. This place is for you. But I... No, I, I think that... No, no, no. Don't worry. <laughs> Come in. And... We'll talk once inside, okay? Come on. Come in. Yeah, sure. Okay. Come in. Let's... Wow. Do you like it? Why don't you guys take a seat? No, no, no. Take the main seat. This is your office. Yeah? Of course. What do you think? I mean, we're still missing a few things, but uh, you can decorate as, as you like, as if it were yours. I've never been, I've never had so much for me. I, I, don't, I don't understand. Why me? Look, Why are you helping us? In my life, I've met a lot of people, as I told you. When I heard your story, I really connected with it. It's familiar to me. <laughs> it's so horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. You really wanted to help me, and you're making a lot of effort, your girl. I also have my girl. I know what that is like. You had a huge dream, and I also have a daughter, and I know what it feels like. You had this dream, and because of life circumstances, things didn't go your way. But we all deserve a second chance, you know, to start over. This is a safe environment. Everyone's very empathetic, respectful. They know what we do. They're so empathetic towards me and my team that you don't have to worry about that. It's quite a simple job. But you know. I, I, don't, I don't really know how to do anything. No, don't worry about it. As I told you, it's quite easy. We're going to train you. Uh, one month of trading, training. You don't have to pay anything for it. I'm really sure you're going to make an amazing job. We have a lot of opportunities. Okay, and, and as long as you're willing to, you can make your career with us. And you'll be very successful, I promise. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, You have nothing to thank me for, okay? Everything's going to be okay, alright? There's one more thing. More? Um, uh, you haven't told me. Do you accept um, this job offer? What do you think? What do you think, honey? What do you think? Do you want, do you want to be here and start over? Well, I guess. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to your new job. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. By the way, there's one more thing. There's... 
I would like for you to come with me. There's something else? That's, that's right. Where? No, no, no. Please be patient. As you can see, everything that I told you about is true. So, would you like to find out what else is in store for you? Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's check it out. Yes. Come in. Come on, come on. Don't worry, everything's okay. Just give me a second. Where are we? I'll explain in a moment. Do you remember that you told me that that you were worried about something? About two things. About your income. We already talked about that. You're now part of our team. Thank you for accepting my job offer. And the other part that you were needing help with. And I told you that I was going to get you girls a place to live. And I think... Well, do you know around well, here? Well, I'm not really familiar with it. It looks very fancy. Well, the most important part is that it's safe. As you can see, we have 24-hour security. So you are in a safe place. I hope you girls are okay here. The house that's behind you, that white one, that's your new house. Okay? No, but... Really, I can't afford this. I, I, I don't know, like, this is too much. Look, as I was telling you, I own a company, right? Construction and realtors, so this is one of my properties, so please keep it, take care of it as if it were yours. This is too much. You have nothing to pay for it. I don't even know what to say. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah? You see? Do you want to live here, honey? <laughs> this is your new beginning. The one you were waiting for. Thank you so much. I, I have never had any. I didn't even have a room for myself. This is more than I've asked for. <laughs> I've been praying all this time, all along, every night. I wanted to. <laughs> I'm really mind. glad that you like it because I've got this for you. What's this? In there, you will find all of the documents that allow you to be the owner of this house. So we're going to go with a lawyer tomorrow so we can what? make sure that this house is completely yours. Are you, are you, are you sure? You can inherit it to her. I'm sure about it. You deserve it because you've gone through so much. You're a good person. You keep pushing and you love your daughter. We're gonna change our lives. Are you ready for this? Let's thank God, okay? What did I tell you? Trust me and I'm gonna make sure that you Never have to go back to that horrible place that you used to be in. Thank you. No, you don't have to thank, thank me. Thank you. I, I think you do. I mean, we just need one more thing. What? Go in. Yes, you want to do Come that? On, go in. Let's go.